Cam. Seru. Welcome on in. Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Laura's run off somewhere. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Mary. What should I do? Are you really waiting for somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking... Going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. Doing alright, Cam. How are you doing? I hope you're doing alright too, Seru. No. Don't you squiggle at me. Hey, who let you out of the hospital? Get away from me. Hopefully you enjoy the movie. Uh, I think I've I've heard of that, but I don't know anything about it. I guess you could let me know if that film has any substance. Oh! Hold on. I just realized something. There we go. Sai Rutonin on the left hand side. me some Dennis Quaid. Not enough to fucking want to see Reagan, but... There's nothing. I was hoping that there would be some more items. Oh, I like decent body horror. I've decided that I'm not going to do, in the interest of, of, of time, I'm not going to do Born from a Wish. At least not yet. I'm going to count that separately. I'm going to wait to see if Born From A Wish is included in Silent Hill 2 Remake. And if it is, then I'll do it. I don't think they've confirmed anything about Born From A Wish being included. If I had to guess, it'd probably be held back as fucking paid DLC. Uh Ow! Oh. Yeah, I was about to before I realized you were giving the plots on me. Uh I was about to be like, I, I don't know who the fuck Elizabeth Sparkle is. I thought you were talking about an actress there for a second.
No, we already did that. All right. No. I don't care how glistening you are. You stay away from me. Oh. Oh, hey, guess what? Cam. Cam. Guess what? It's only one more week until we get to potentially be disappointed by, uh, Salem's Lot remake. I haven't found the rifle yet. But I'm glad I'm getting rifle shells. No! Stop screaming at me. Is there any more s ammo? Yes, I too uh, am probably going to be intoxicated. Are you telling me there's some there's kind, some of, kind of, of Dracula? Dracula? Genuinely, that might be my favorite blurb. Jack Quaid's delivery there is just pitch perfect. See, I'm glad I explored. I got all this extra ammo that I'm not really ever going to get a chance to use. Oh, you know, I'm also kind of curious. Because Silent Hill 2... And also Silent Hill 1, for that matter. They both, um... Get away from me. They sort of have a, uh, A little feature. Where if you get into the final boss room... Without any ammunition... Like, you're completely out of ammo... The boss just dies. So I wonder if that'll be a thing in Silent Hill 2 Remake. Granted, at least on normal, um... There's a fuck ton of ammo, so you would have to really waste all of it. Or... Just... Like... Not search. Got a wrench. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. Part of that abyss is the old society. Is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park. At the foot of the praying woman. Inside of the ground inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now, no one dares approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Hey, Gino. That checks out. Interestingly enough, in original Final Fantasy VII, uh, something similar happens. Um, I think it's Rude? Rude has a major crush on Tifa, Cam. So he actually will not attack Tifa. I think unless it's like his only alternative, like, like all the other party members have been knocked out. I think that's the only time. 
And even then, like, I, I think there's stuff in it to, like, kind of, like, mess with it or, like, whatever. I don't remember specifics. But it's a primo strat. That, uh, the, the Nomura and Co. didn't bother carrying over into Final Fantasy VII Remake because they're hacks. I will, I will never stop shit talking. Remake and Rebirth. I'm happy people like them, but. I don't, I don't understand it. I think it's if it's primarily because the way they designed the bosses, the final two bosses, and in, in for, for uh, the final bosses of Silent Hill and Silent Hill Two, uh, to be primarily ranged affairs, and they felt it was probably impossible for the player to beat them with melee, or if it was possible, it would be exceedingly difficult. So they just wanted to make a safeguard so a player wouldn't get to the end of the game, and. Uh, get butt fucked. Greedy, go to bed. But I'm not entirely sure. It's possibly easier to implement. Uh, I don't know the specifics, but it gives me another reason to shit on Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth, so I'll take it. Uh, especially considering all the stupid shit that they did add that they could have, like, you know, not added and committed resources elsewhere to, like, you know, may maybe make the game not, not, not suck. <laughs> All these noises. It's the sound Greedy makes when she's looking for cummies. <laughs> oh. The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. I'm glad you dug it. Well, I still haven't finished uh, 15 to be f so. You know, like my my perspective on it is uh, is is minimal. Uh, I wasn't impressed when I played it, but on the general principle of the fact that 15 doesn't have goddamn time ghosts and doesn't uh, butt fuck the biggest, arguably one of the biggest video game moments in the history of of the medium. Uh, or narrative moments in the history of the medium. Uh, I would probably play 15, 50,000 times over. Uh, than ever replay Remake and Rebirth. I, I hate those two games with like every fiber of my being. They offend me about as much as Balan. And I will be there day one to play part three. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to get an Xbox port. Uh, the console exclusivity was only temporary, hypothetically, and Square Enix has learned uh, to not make Sony exclusives ever again because AAA games are fucking expensive. And uh, there's some idiot at Square Enix who sets unrealistic sales expectations for um, just about every fucking game. Uh, so 16 underperformed, allegedly. Uh, I played 16 
And though I got some nitpicks with it, uh, 16 fucking slaps, dude. 16 is the best Final Fantasy game in fucking years. And it feels uh, like a complete goddamn game. Yeah, 16 is like probably one of my favorite things from last year. I, I really liked 16 quite a bit. So much so that uh, when Back to Ghoul is over, I really would like to get around to doing 16 on New Game Plus. A New Game Plus is like on hard mode, so it would be mildly, uh, mildly more difficult. The only major blemish, major, major blemish of 16 uh, is that, and m maybe it'll be slightly better in New Game Plus when I'm like super mega dick level, uh, is uh, the final fight in the second DLC. Uh, the one against Leviathan is a fucking dog ass. Yeah, fifteen's fifteen's entire narrative is is butt fucked into oblivion because of greed and stupid decisions. Like that entire prequel movie, Cam, was in the fucking game at one point. Uh, that was even part of the goddamn reveal trailer of when they were turning versus 13 into 15. The whole attack on the city and whatnot. Like, you were there, like, in, is trying to escape the city as it was being invaded and shit like that. Uh, and then at some point, they decided, hey, let's cut out that entire opening narrative. That entire thing. And just uh, make people watch a movie for it. Which is certainly a choice. The one, the two things I did like about 15, from what memory serves, because I, I really didn't like the gameplay, and it didn't help the fact that it's just this bland, boring open world. Nothing in it, as they're like most open worlds. Uh, I did like the camaraderie slash bromance between the party members. The little I played, it felt strong. And then I enjoyed the culture and science behind Cindy's attire. <laughs> One of these days I'll get around to doing a 15 on stream. It's just another time sink. And there's so many time sync games that are on like my list ba and like backlog shit that one I'm not super interested in going through or like not like super passionate about uh, it has to be like way lower on the list. There's so many Megaton and Yakuza games that I want to get through. And also other better Final Fantasy games. Yeah, that's that stupid AAA game design bullshit that is that rots everything. Hey, I'm in it great. In it, ain't it great? Hello. Lakeview Hotel. I yearn for more games that are gamey ass games.
That is true, yeah. But, you know, they want they want you to be impressed. They don't understand that, that it gets... The developers don't understand that that gets annoying after the first time you've seen it. It's kind of like, again, as I was bitching about uh, the other day, I still gotta get back to finishing it, in, um... The Last of Us Part 1 and The Last of Us Part 2. The... The tech behind stripping down weapons and re and showing showing Joel and Ellie like strip them down and reassemble them to upgrade the weapon. It's impressive. But it's also really fucking annoying after a while. Cause it's just like I just wanna upgrade my weapon and get on with it. Scully. Home skilly willy ding dong. Home Scullington. How's it going, you, you, you cute, adorable little fuck? Oh, I'm not going to spoil it, but I did set up my surprise for tomorrow night slash Friday stream. Uh, once again, I'm just going to make this as an announcement because we're moving out of the rental on Friday. Uh, Spectrum also did an oopsie doopsie, so we're not getting internet in the actual house until Saturday. So in the interest of keeping the streak alive, I'm going to be streaming on Friday at like fucking midnight, right? So like tomorrow's stream is going to be morning slash early afternoon and then I'll be back at like midnight with something. Uh, and since it's the final stream from the rental, and it's just going to be a short stream because it's going to be late and I need to get some sleep for the move, uh, I wanted to make it special. Well, I'm glad you like the t upgrade animations. They're very technically impressive. I fucking hate them from a gameplay perspective because it just slows down the goddamn game. I would much rather have the unrealistic weapon upgrade type system of, like, Resident Evil 2 where you just, you know, combine the weapon parts with your weapon. Or, you know, the merchant in Resident Evil 4, where he just, you know, does it off screen instantly. I th I want to say, it's been so long since I played OG Last of Us, or Remastered, uh, that the weapon animation, the weapon upgrade shit wasn't nearly that extensive and time-consuming. If it was there, then, uh, you know, hey, you know, I'm talking out of my ass, but... <sighs> yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it's, we've been slowly moving stuff over. Thanks, Cam. We've been slowly moving stuff over. Uh, it's basically completely done, just doesn't have internet. Uh, and my dad called and Spectrum was supposed to, uh, fucking set up internet Thursday morning, but, uh, I guess they goofy woofy And they won't be doing it until Saturday. I can potentially get fiber at my old place, but I'm not doing that now because I don't have a job and I can't afford it. And my parents are idiots who keep wanting to stick with Spectrum even though I keep telling them not to. <sighs> yeah, having AC in that house will be nice. God damn, we have so many. Many bullets. I can find stable employment. Uh, and and make it make make enough side scratch. I plan on just getting my own goddamn fiber connection. Cause fuck Spectrum. Spectrum is absolute fucking dog ass. Yeah. 
I mean, that's that's been one of the perks about the rental, too. The rental's had central AC, so I haven't been dying. -y. But being in that house with uh, central AC will also be nice. Assuming I don't have to keep getting into fights with the rest of the family. Oh, what be that, Gino? Is it something s fucking AI related or some shit? Mm-hmm. Well, that's if if that's uh, if that's uh, genuine and true. Uh, fuck all these companies. Am I right? Don't waste my motherfucking time. I made myself a promise, Cam, that I uh, would rather amputate my hand with a hammer than ever work in customer service ever again, if I can help it. Oh no! Get off of me! I have been making YouTube videos and exporting VOD stuff. It's not barely worth the effort. No, we came from there. Oh no, we came from here. Oh, now I fucking god damn it, I know where. I'm done. Fucking goddamn historical societies being spooky dooky. Yeah, here we go. Oh no, fat guy crouch. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. Excuse me. You you killed him? But 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 it wasn't my fault. He he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Sure you can. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? 
I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie? Oh, goody, goodbye. The gluttonous pig. That's me. That's me. Oh god, home skill is gonna kill me. Oh well. I probably deserve it. I hope so, Cool Guts. I hope in the remake, Eddie does a TikTok dance. And you have to like do DDR to fight him. No! Oh, forgot to reload. No. Get in there! A bad breather! Whatever the fuck your name is. Oh, fucking. I always forget how many goddamn resources there are in this fucking game. Yeah, hurdy gurdy yeti. James does the Macarena. What the fuck? I killed you! Get out of here! Kick you in the dick. Uh, are we going Now the lock is busted. How's your night going, Ghoulie? How and you are Isabella doing? Doth do well? Do doth do good? Well doth do good? Oh good, it's the silliest goddamn puzzle in the fucking game. I might have actually missed some melee weapons somewhere, because I seem to remember having more than just a goddamn 2x4, but you know, whatever. I could have sworn we had a pipe at some point, but... Hello? Yeah, of course. Of course. I have one part of the puzzle. Well, thank you for stopping by, baby. You need your ghoulish rest. So you can sleep. And dream of lighting children on fire. Hey, fuck you! Yeah, here. I gotta go poopy. Let me in. Baby boiler. Uh, also, Ghoulie, if you're free, we're watching some delicious schlock B-movie martial arts horror in the Discord this Saturday.
And then I was also reminded about another martial arts horror movie that we should watch. Uh, well, it's a martial arts film with a little bit of horror in it. Like, uh, werewolves. Or vampires. So, one of them is Curse of the Wolf, and the other is Fist of the Vampire. So they're like horror-themed martial arts movies. Not, not terribly scary. But, you know, it's like werewolves doing karate and shit. And, you know, we all know you love werewolf karate. Go Guts. That's why they call you the werewolf karate master. Don't you breathe at me! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, stuff that Lee, Kat, and I have been wanting to watch forever. Oh, it's absolutely terrible, you know? I've never seen these movies. I just know what they are, and I've been looking forward to them forever, and so have Lee and Cat. <laughs> Gino's just being a pessimist, because I've shown him some good shit. Same with you, Rupert. Although, to be fair, with Ghoul Guts, I usually try to only get you to show up to bad stuff. Because it's funny. Uh, it looks like we're getting some stream hiccups. So that's cool. Looks like Twitch is dropping some frames right now. Thank you, Twitch. <sighs> so good. Yeah. No! Although, my favorite is still that Isabella was blaming me for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even though I had nothing to do with that. And it was actually you who got me and Kat and Lee to watch it in the first place, Schooly. You and Isabella. But she was still blaming me for it. Four thirty-six people in at a recital. There's no enemies here. Let's see if there's some stuff I can do. Well, she should stop, because I didn't do it. God damn it. Now, Fear Street, I'll take the blame for that. That's my doing. Fear Street was totally my fault. Hey. Open up, I gotta go pee pee. Most of them are terrible, yes, homeschooling. Although I love the second one. The third one, I haven't seen since I was a teenager. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't that good. The fourth one I haven't seen. 
And it's supposed to be terrible. Like, really, really, really bad. Uh, the remake was I. The prequel to the remake was terrible. Uh... And Texas Chainsaw, or uh, Texas Chainsaw 3D was terrible. And uh, Texas Chainsaw 2022 was terrible. How's it fault though? I didn't recommend it, God damn it! Don't you breathe on me. Listen, show Mrs. Ghoul one cut of the dead. That'll make up for it. You can vouch for one cut of the dead. You know, or, 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 you saw one cut. And you were questioning me, initially. Until you were educated in the ways of the one cut of the dead. I give you blood to atone for the three sins. They have to go in a specific order, or no? <clears throat> I'm guessing not. Hey, who did that? Well, show it to Mrs. Ghoul. <laughs> I'll make up for it. That'll make up for Fear Street. Fear Street is entirely my doing. I will take that. Don't, don't shoot. Oh. <sighs> well, I'm glad you liked Fear Street. I hated it, homeschooling. Oh, yes. Fear Street 2 is the best of the trilogy. I still hated it, though. It's like really God damn dude, it still hasn't like recovered. It's just upsetting me. Well, give me an idea on what Mrs. Ghoul likes. I'll try to recommend something that she might not have seen. That will improve things. Yeah, I mean, Fear Street was fucking awful. I hated it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, show, show it on the other side. Sarah! I'm troubleshooting right now. Uh, you, you didn't do, I mean, you, 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 you did the knot first. Yeah. But you didn't, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the bot only, only, uh, functions based on someone chatting in chat. So. Yeah, interesting. 
I don't know why it's dropping frames. It shows that my upload speed is okay. You know, I'm just gonna chalk it up to Twitch being a piece of shit. Anyways, Ghoul, yeah, Ghoul Guts, tell me what she likes and I'll come up with recommendations based around that. Because I will not have my taste be a stain in anyone's eyes. I have immaculate film taste, goddammit. I like schlock, sure. But I also like plenty of amazing movies. Genuinely amazing. I take offense to this. The movie? Yeah, the Silent Hill movie's alright. How doth you do, Serutin? Serutonin? Seronimo? How many goddamn holes? Seru, you love holes. The book, not the movie. Surprised Cerulean, that's what they call him. Surprised is spelled with Seru. Seru prize. You get it? I made it. I made a cute little pun. Cause you, cause, cause you, 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 you light up my life like nobody else. Maybe it's something else. No, memory is good. CP is good. Oh, because you haven't seen it, Golguts. I just remembered, and, and you wanted to be there. Show her LA Confidential. LA Confidential Fox. Nice. I remember you mentioning that uh, Left 4 Dead was on the table, or you suggested Left 4 Dead. I would 100% be down for Left 4 Dead. Ow. Yeah. Although, for the time being, for the, for the next few days, things are a little choppy. Callington Steel. Her name was Calworth Von Callington. She was the cow, cow, cow. Oh, you know what, Cal? I just thought of something. We could make a we could make a a, a Pal World type game, except for we'd call it Cal World. About it'll be about like making blondies and shit, and thirsting after fantasy Chinese necromancers. Or something. No. Get away from me. No. Oh. Ow! Don't poke me! Seru, you love fantasy Chinese necromancers. Do it. Also watch Heat. It's another good one. Oh, 
Uh, Google Guts, did you see the Banshees of Inisharan? That's another one I would recommend, although uh, it probably would give Mrs. Ghoul a uh, crippling depression, because the movie is very sad. But it is a wonderful goddamn movie. Uh, then again, I would also recommend everything of that director, so In Bruges, Seven Psychopaths, uh, and Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Uh, Tetris, which came out last year, was uh, my favorite movie of last year, actually, so I'd also highly recommend that. And before you ask Ghoul Guts, uh, it's not a movie adaptation of the game, but it is based on the creation of Tetris. It's a biopic. Hey. Hey, you stop that. You thick asshole. I'm gonna kick you in your pooper. Pen Pal Illusions? Pen Pal Paradise? What about Seru Pal? Oh good, it's this puzzle. That I don't remember how to do. <clears throat> there we go. Ah, oh, shit. Yep. Because the creation of Tetris is surprisingly dramatic. It's a great goddamn movie. It is a really fascinating story. It's not entirely, it's not like completely accurate and everything like that, but yeah, it's fine. I'm glad you liked it, Sarah. Yeah, you'd both like Banshees. Just also know it's depressing as fuck. <laughs> it is a mean, mean movie, Golguts. Hey, there you go. Snow Knight with Cerulean. Mary, what the fuck are you You're doing in there? Alive. Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Get out of there, you harlot. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, James, and then... James, what are you talking about? Just before... Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <sighs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am, if you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Ah, uh, shit. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. 
Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Yeah, you okay. can! Stay right there. I'll be there soon. That bar's big enough? What are you talking about? Hell, you love videotapes. That's why they call you Videotape Cow. Hey. Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Oh, Ghoul Guts, have you seen Color Out of Space? Show her that too. If you want some, some crazy body horror bullshit. Show Mrs. Ghoul. No! Don't you cough at me! No, my pee pee! Fuck. Oh, my pee pee! Can somebody quote Ghoul Nuts? Nefarious gargantuan hog. People thinking Ghoul Guts was talking about me. No. She needs to get over her Nick Cage bias. Uh, what else is there? Cal, can you quote that? Mary's miss missing foreskin. I mean, you all know he wasn't talking about me. Now the real question is if if James refers to if James Sunderland refers to his PP as a hog, is it a feral hog? It's the most fucked up monster design in the game. Uh. No! All right, yeah, this is not worth it.
Unless. Oh, wait for me. No! Stop giving me head! Fucking abstract daddy motherfucker. Are you okay? No. <laughs> yeah, fuck him up. Angela. Relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? You know what, Ghoul Guts? Oh, I see. You're trying to be I nice. think you should start right. incorporating metaphors for missing foreskin you in your writing. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. Ugh. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never... Was circumcised. Cal, before you leave, can you, uh, can you quote that about tracking down my foreskin? Any foreskin trackers in chat? Oh, good! It's this fucking game. This fucking puzzle. Alright, can somebody quote that? Four flavors. <clears throat> dead men, dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. First one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, served him to his hungry guests. And then gave them seconds on requests. Next one with his smile and sweets stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Hold on, give me a second. Breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright, filled his foolish head with ale, woke in the morning in the county jail. 
The artist with his daughter's skill tried his hand at painting bills, but he caught in the rain, or but caught in the rain he was undone, when the ink he'd use did start to run. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Six feet long, six men wide. Round their necks the noose be tied. Oh no. Piece of paper, swindling. Thievery, kidnapping, murder, arson. No, not the handcuffs. Oh, I gotta go into the, I guess, backtrack. Deadman, Deadman. Yeah, there we go. So hold on. Ugh. Locked. Oh, no. Maria? Maria? Maria, no. What happened to you? There's nothing else for me in that room, except for bees. Lots and lots of bees. I think I actually might be able to beat this tonight.
we'll see how things go. So we are getting relatively close to the end of the game. James Sunderland. Oh, shit. but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? Bad timing, James. I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I mean, I'll yeah. You, James. No. It should be. Give me them rifle rounds. Oh, well, you know. PS2, they probably didn't think you'd notice or give a shit. Unless it's a Kojima game. But this is also upscaled like a motherfucker. No. When you're hated? Oh yeah. Picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look? Yeah. After you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life? That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> hey, you're an asshole. Hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Uh. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party. Hey, I don't want to party. Hey, don't punch me. Oh, my God. 
I wish I could take the Magnum. Or a revolver. Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. A human being. And a real hero. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? <laughs> no, 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 no. God, it's the boat part. But before, hey, there we go, perfect. Before we do the boat part and go to the hotel, and a BRB. I'll have to go back and see what uh, song you're talking about, goalie. Because I'm curioso. El Curioso. I'll be able to figure it out when I go back and look at the VOD to edit. Well, good, now it's time for the worst part of the game! Fuck's that light. It is! Uh, it's, it's shuffled. I also have multiple BRB screens, Goalie. Each one has a different playlist of shuffled music. I tried to have them somewhat themed based on the BRB screen. Thought it would be a neat gimmick, but I might get rid of it and just simplify it to one BRB screen. like it used to be. The main thing is, like, I had been using the same uh, BRB screen for almost my entire streaming career. Same with intro. Intro screen. Uh, so I decided to uh, swap it. Swap it up. Uh, earlier this year. But I couldn't necessarily decide on what BRB screen I wanted to swap it with, so I figured, you know, a random would be fun. I did briefly have two different BRB screens. One was a, a, a BRB and then the other was an intermission screen. And the intermission screen was basically the, uh, the screen I was using to signify to me in the editing process. Uh, one to cut the VOD. Usually around the two hour mark or if I'm swapping games or something like that. To make it a bit easier for me to remember. Because sometimes I don't go back to edit this shit into VOD format for YouTube for a few days. Um, but then I just said, fuck it, let's just go with a random BRB. 
And then, uh, I decided to change... my intro screen uh, from my normal one to what it is now. Which is the uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 installation screen. Which is just old snake smoking cigarettes. This place hasn't changed at all in three years. I thought it would be neat. It's kind of one of the things I miss. Even though it was like a pain, in, even though it was mildly annoying, the 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 cool installation screens you would get when uh, <coughs> installing a uh, PlayStation Three game. Those don't really exist anymore. I mean, to be fair, there's like no reason for them to, but... Waiting for you. Oh no! Who's waiting for me? Ghoul Guts, are you waiting for me? Are you in room 312 waiting for me? Tee hee hee! Tee hee! Hello? Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. Our special place. Danny's bedroom with a copy of Suspiria in the Omen. <laughs> No, I ain't playing a goddamn thing. Fuck you. Hey, who's making a ruckus? Give me that fish key. Oh fuck, it's the little shit! If I could, I would blast her right now. Did I scare you? No. Yeah, you did. You're a little shit. Why didn't you drown? You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? What are you, a cop? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm telling you I a goddamn thing! Walk in. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? The fuck is Rachel? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. I'm gonna narc on you, kid. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me. But please, give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes. And he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's really a sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. 
Things had worked out differently. I was hoping to adopt you. Happy eighth birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Laura? She's drawn a wiener! How old are you? Um... I turned eight last week. So... Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could... could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. A she really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura. Laster. Get away from me! Stucker! Oh fuck! Oh, you wanna fuck? Yeah, here. Now, damn, a can of thinner. Hey, why is the elevator farting? God, I really wish. Three and four had enhanced edition mods. No! I think I have enough e ammo to kill everything left in the game and then some. I'm a little cautious on rifle ammo for the final bosses. Shotgun ammo should be good. Pistol ammo, we're fucking set for life, baby. He says, and then stumbles across more goddamn ammunition. No, I gotta go pee pee. See you. Was I looking at something? No. Suitcase is locked. Not on my watch.
blah, blah, blah. <gasps> no, I thought it was the music box. No. Stop sucking my dick. <laughs> yeah, I heard you big stompy fuckhead. Oh, stop crying. Hello? Employee elevator key. Cool Guns loves employee elevators. Hey, let's go! Oh no, it's been marked with- well, fuck it, let's get it out of the inventory anyway. Gold Guts, you light up my life like nobody else. You don't know you're beautiful. You're goddamn right, I'm quoting One Direction at you, Golguts. Uh... Oh no, never mind. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna beat this tonight, because this is basically the end of the game. This playthrough is going by a lot faster than the one from a couple years ago. Oh, good. Uh, I don't want to do this shit yet. This part is silly. I want to see if I can... Oh, never mind. I have to do it now. Because the employee elevator has a fucking weight limit. James, you're too fat. Uh, I don't know, actually. Uh, I want to say... Or maybe it's comparable. I don't know. It's hard to say, really. I'd have to look at my old VODs. I do know, though, that I can go through Silent Hill 1 relatively quickly. Kinda. I don't really, like, know the games all that well, like, by heart, or anything like that. It's not like... Ye old Resident Evil and Resident Evil Remake, where uh, Spencer Mansion and progression is mostly burned into my stupid fat head. Mostly. Some puzzles I don't remember because I'm a big, stupid, stupid, big 
Dum dum. <gasps> Videotape. Can opener. Like even uh RE2 remake, which is more fresh in my mind. And that I've done a lot of. Uh I know some puzzle solutions, but they're usually like the optional ones, right? Well, like progression puzzles aren't quite as burned into my soul. Hey, get away from me. You're fat and stinky. Stinky, fat, fat, fat. The boiler room. Hey, get away from me. That's also why I have a um, notepad document and a Microsoft Word document with the puzzle solutions for uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake that I can just glance at when I'm running through the game as a refresher. Oh, fuck you, it's not too dark to read the map, you, you piece of shit. Oh, wait. Uh, I vaguely know where I am. Only because there's dead bodies. No! You bad, get away from me. I was grinding that shit pretty hard. No, get away from me. So at this point, the only way I'm going to improve... Uh, oh, I should save, actually. Just in case. Is, is if I get really good at those skips. Uh, and get better at movement. I think lowest time is like 53? 53, 54? Uh, I don't know. Off the top of my head. What I do know is that the next lowest time is like 8 minutes faster than me. Fled at midnight. No. Because those skips save a lot of time. And better movement would also help, too. Like, I, I have sheer speed down pretty good. I just need movement optimization and to be able to reliably perform those skips. Those skippy whippies.
wrong way, I think. Yeah. Hey! GG, Saru. And we'll be getting back to RE6 hopefully soon, Saru. Things have just been a little, a little dicey on my end. I should have some stability pretty soon. Oh boy! It's the big reveal! Sure you could. I believe you could speedrun anything. Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. No. <laughs> So I didn't say anything, but I installed another mod because this came out, this, this mod came out like the day before or the day I was set to stream this. <laughs> and when I saw that this is a mod, I was like, I'm installing it and I'm not telling anybody. <laughs> to surprise anybody who happened to see this uh Laura. this stream <laughs> Mary's nope god <laughs> no Sarah James in the in, in the actual game James just sits there like in the chair the entire time as the lie, camera pans around him cuz he's depressed no and realizes he's true. a monster she she died cuz she was sick No. I killed her. You kill her! Why'd you do it? I hate you! I want her back! Give her back to me! I knew it! You didn't care about her! I hate you, James! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> she was always waiting for you. Why? Why? I'm <laughs> sorry.
Oh. Anyways, ho- I-, I hope everybody who was watching enjoyed that little, little stupid bullshit Laura. <laughs> that I rigged up I'm to see another mod. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remove any and all dramatic weight. <laughs> Just have James twerk. We have to see. Hey, I killed my wife. Voice. Eh? Bitch, shut up. You're dead. Leave me alone. <laughs> I've been sitting here. <laughs> Excited about getting to that scene <laughs> for the past like 48 hours. <laughs> eh, is my light dead? Oh, fuck you. Oh, I fucking vaguely. Yeah, all right, we got it. We gotta do some fucking wacky ass Benny Hill bullshit. I don't fucking remember how we doth do. Do doth? Doth do well? Well, doth do. Wait, are we on the other side now? Yay! Maybe. Elevator? Express ele- Oh wait, hold on, there was shit out there. Fuck! Express elevator to hell going down. In a second. What is it? <gasps> More ammo? Oh no, ampules, good. I might need them. No. Get away from me. See, this is also how you know shit's about to go down. Is like they're just throwing all these goddamn health items at you, and even more ammo. It's like game, please. We want you to kill everyone. Everyone's Sullivan. How many bullets do I have now? We have 29 health drinks. 17 aid kits. 6 ampules. 297 pistol bullets. 177 shotgun shells. And 32 rifle rounds. And I don't remember if there's actually any... You know, there, I mean, there easily could be. I don't remember if there's any more. Oh, hey. Mama! Mama, I was looking for you. Now you're the only one left. Maybe then. Maybe then I can rest. Mama, why are you running away? <gasps> You're not my mama. It's it's you. Oh, I, I I'm sorry. Angela, no.
Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela. That's wrong. No, don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? Hmm. That's what I thought. James. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? No, I'd never kill myself. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this. Man, I can't wait to see how that scene's gonna get fucked up in the remake. You stop stomping around. <coughs> Fucking Johnny stomping auto over here. Oh my god. Chat, here we go. How many rifle runs do I got? 36. We'll use it most, uh, 18. Be on the safe side. So I'm gonna use the rest in the final boss. Son of a bitch! I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Yeah, fuck both of you. No, get away from me. Hey. Ooh. 
Bonzinho. Can you all just die already? I want to go to bed. Did I miss? That hit. Don't you poke me. Fucking nerd! Fucking dusty pyramid head, get off my nuts. Get Come it, yeah. Greedy Jr., thank you for the raids. Welcome to the end of Silent Hill 2. Kalia, uh, since I'm in the middle get of gameplay it, right yeah. now, could you please shout out Greedy Jr.? I don't have a button for Greedy Jr. I don't think I have an auto command either. Get away from me! I do have a command, never mind. What's up? Thank you for the double raids. How were your streams? How was, how was, how was, uh, 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 astronaut army, uh, battle screwdriver? Excellent. Can you guys fucking just die? Can you, can you stop? No. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. I'm getting sick of your shit. Yeah, get in position. Oh no, they exited the Minecraft server and now T-pose. Ominously. Hey, give me that scarlet egg. Hey, give me that rust egg. Welcome on in Raiders. We, uh, we're at the end of Silent Hill 2. Uh, we're doing uh, the enhanced edition mod on PC, along with another mod that actually edited a scene. Uh, I'm going to just replay that for the Raiders here, because I basically ruined the game. <laughs> Intentionally. Give me a second here. Uh, let me see if I can pick it up. Is this a video of it? <laughs> oh, oh, Kali, if you have like 30 seconds, you won't regret this. You will not regret this one bit if you can if you can hold out for thirty seconds. It's been in oh, our hold on. God damn it. There we go. I just gotta get it prepped. Uh because I want to show you the second mod that I had installed. <laughs> <laughs> 
this 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 mod slash dance plays immediately after the big plot twist of Silent Hill 2, which I uh, I, I won't spoil even though we just saw it in case people have don't who just read it don't know what the twist is. Especially because the remake is coming out, you know, in like a week or two, week and a half. I don't know. Time is a flat circle. All right, Kali, I think for the raid, you get some good eats. Mary? Oh, so we're literally at the James? final boss. I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. I'm gonna sit here and listen to the Between whole thing. the disease and the drugs. And that, those 30 seconds are amazing. Monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go! Are you deaf? Don't come back! James! Wait! Please don't go! Stay with me! Don't leave me alone! I didn't mean what I said. Please, James. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die. Help me. Who? <sighs> Let's make fucking go. Mary? Oh, cool. Clippy broke again. When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? Easy. I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. No, oh, God. Bitch, calm down. Stop T posing at me.
Get away from me. You're smelly. Bitch, you fucked him around? You're beating hell! Don't you know who I am? I'm a twerker! Uh oh. Bitch, get down from there! Yeah, that's what I fucking thought! Shut up. You're dead. Muting mic because ending. Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is... I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James. Please. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, 
I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most. Especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <sighs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. Well, there we go. Hey, thanks, sir. Thanks, Schooly. Like I said, I'm gonna save Born from a Wish for later in the interest of time. By later, I mean, uh, once I figure out if Remake has its own Born from a Wish. Uh, this 
despite all the other shit in progress, uh, I also really want to go through Bloober's uh, more recent remake of their own Layers of Fear. So I'm going to have both fresh in mind, although I you know, wasn't a fan of Layers of Fear. But, you know, still. But that won't be until Saturday or something. Tomorrow, <coughs> in the uh, morning slash afternoon, I'm going to try and finish off the league. And then tomorrow night is basically my, my, my Friday stream. I have something special planned as the uh, final stream from the record before going back home. And then the bulk of uh, the bulk of actual Friday I'm not going to have to Saturday stream, uh, hopefully I can squeeze one in before the field plays, but it entirely depends on um, spectrum and whatnot. Yes, that all works. What about cool guns? Oh, boy. Oh, enhanced edition credits. Yeah, you know, out of respect, we'll leave that too. For these mad lads and lasses who... Poured their blood, sweat, and tears into uh, making a mod that acts as a better goddamn remaster than the official HD collection. Plus, you know, Promise for Prize is a fucking bop. Yeah, go to bed. Uh, I'm just... The second the credits are done, I'm raiding out. So the stream is basically done. Go to bed. And watch LA Confidential with Mrs. Ghoul. Banshees of Sharon. Although, just remember, you're gonna be, like, really fucking depressed after Banshees. <laughs> oh my god, hurry up. <laughs> fucking credits. No more? Alright, good. Show me my pathetic rank.
5.3. Save the clear data. Movies. Hey. Yeah, all right, so that's going to do it uh, for me now. Uh, I already said what the general plans are and all that fun shit, so, you know, you have fun with that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to send you all on over to Ink for Justice. Uh, once again, thank you all for stopping by, and Kalia and um, Greedy Jr., thank you for the raids. Y'all take care of yourselves, uh, stay safe, uh, be excellent to each other, and I will catch you all on the next stream. Goodbye!